Hey y'all, peace on earth and love and light to you. Okay, so I'm going to be talking to you about the soul. I'm not too sure in which direction I'm going to go with this. I'm going to say that right now because uh, a lot of times I pick up the camera and I just go for it. I just kind of wing it. And um, this is going to be another one of those times. And because for the last couple of days maybe even weeks okay um i've been hearing to talk about the soul the soul and um so the other day i went to look up some things on the soul and at first i couldn't find anything that described the soul in the way that i saw the soul and um because I realized that when people t refer to the soul in, in the spirit, um, I will say this, some people just had no clue what it was and then they put their own perception on it. And I guess that's cool because that's kind of what I'm going to do. And then um, some people just really understood it in the way that, however way that they were taught, however way that they understood it. And... Um, so then, I, 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 I came to the conclusion that um, this is really just going to be something that um, this is just really going to be something that people are just going to have different definitions about. So once I get to elaborating on my definition of the soul, if you don't agree, then hey, you know, I can't really do anything about it. But you don't have to watch the rest of the video if it's something that you feel like. It's just, you're just in so much of disagreeance that you just don't like it. So I can't do anything but tell you my definition of it. However, um, I did see this guy that was speaking with Oprah and he described the soul exactly the way I saw the soul. And that made me feel like, okay, if someone else is seeing the soul like I see the soul, then maybe I can't be all the way wrong here. Okay, so for me, the soul, what is the soul? And what is the spirit? Okay, to me, the soul is like um, something that's always there inside um, people and I'm not too sure if everyone has a soul so let me say that first that's my opinion but it is like almost almost your intuition but not it's like an inner knowing and I'm explaining this the soul the best way I can just to show you guys that um because I really want you to understand it's it's like it's like your personality. It's not your personality. It's not like your personality in a way because it's who you are. It's what gives you your dignity. It's what gives you your pride, your ego. It gives you your substance. It's really your soul is who you are. And um, your soul is this. You are the type of person that, um, okay, let's say if you're a Libra. <laughs> you don't have to be a Libra. But Libras are known for this. And I say all the time, I am a Libra moon. But say you just don't like um justice injustice and you hate um belittlement and you hate being unfair okay those emotions um of you hating um of you hating um injustice that would be your soul um and then someone comes along and they, uh, so you know that you're this type of person. You've always been this type of person, okay? You were born this type of person. You feel like someone comes along and 
they mistreat someone. I have to put this down. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I just put the camera up there so you guys can see cars going by every now and then. And maybe you can hear the birds like I can. I love to hear the birds singing and talking early in the morning. Okay, so one comes along and they... Uh, they basically mistreat someone in front of your face. Maybe it's your friend or something like that. And the person that's mistreating the person is um, someone that's really intimidating. Um, someone that you don't really... Someone that you really are just, um, I guess, afraid of. Someone that you've never thought that you would face but um they're treating this person badly but since this person is coming off as intimidating coming off really strong and powerful and um you know that you have to stand up for that person because they're mistreating the other person you don't do it because you have let that fear of the other person overcome you and um you don't do it and then the other person um gets mistreated badly and um you know that you had the words to clear that up you know you could have cleared it up you know you could have made it right but you did it okay in that very second you know what you just did you sold your soul <laughs> you have sold your soul and um the thing is the thing is I don't think people really know what it means to sell your soul. I think people just think um, when you're in the entertainment industry and um, they just know that when you are when you're in the when you're in the entertainment in industry and maybe they're thinking this big monster comes along and says we're going to give you all this money and fame so give me your soul and i'm kind of thinking of the way like aria you know when she starts singing and whatever and then that um what is that octopus name i forgot the big octopus that took like her voice and everything and i guess people think that's how it happens even though like did she do that willingly? I don't think so. I forgot. But it reminds me of that part. And she started singing and she kind of basically takes her voice. She takes the soul right out of her. I think people think that's the way it works. And I think uh, whether you are Beyonce or Rihanna or whoever you are, Oprah, some of the people that people just really think have sold their soul, um, the way that they came to do that, I don't, I have never thought it was that easy for them. I've always feel like, um, I always feel like um, that negative entity, whatever it is, approached them in a way that they were too weak to, um, to abstain. Uh, maybe had to be something about, and, and this is what I really feel like too. I feel like the way he approaches some of them, you know, they look nice and they tell them that, you know, we can basically help you get, get here. We can help you get there. And you're going to look so good to the people that talked about you. And I feel like they approach a lot of people like that because a lot of people do things um, because they want to prove to everyone else that they can do it. They want to prove to all the naysayers that they can do it. And um, I don't know which video I said that in before, but um, I feel like there's something, if, if that's you, you guys, I feel like there's something that you're going to have to come into gri to grips with. And um, Did I say that right? I don't know. Whatever. Y'all know, what <laughs> know what I'm talking about, so... Because you can't always have that attitude. Um, and I believe that you can let your haters be your motivation. Like, for real, you can. But you can't always have the attitude of, I'm going to do this for the naysayers. That is just going to give me my drive and my spark. Because once you start going in that direction, I mean, you're going to end up falling. And you're going to fall in front of them. And they're going to have something to talk about. Even when you pick yourself back up and you actually make it, you know, you but you, you can't just continue to have that mindset. 
And I think simply because you're going to fall and they're going to see it. And then it's like, one thing I, I do believe in is never let them see you sweat. I do believe that. But, you know, you can't just have that attitude. Well, you can't because, like, um, there has to be something else to drive you. And then, like, um, any kind of your enemy can come along any kind of negative entity can come along and they can use that against you because they know that that's your motivation um and i feel like in whatever way he approaches them he approaches them in some type of way he she approaches them in some type of way that they really cannot refuse and uh once you have compromised who you are the very essence of who you are then you have given up your soul and sometimes i feel like that they may do it unknowingly and i think this is important why i'm making this video i feel like so many of us probably are out there doing this unknowingly and um sometimes people say well you have to give up your soul one way or the other if that's how you feel then that's how you feel but you know this is how i feel because sometimes people um people criticize me of going too much by the book sometimes and it's just the fact that I know I know what I cannot do and um so therefore I have this fear of of um you know I, it's not condemnation it's some people will let um fear of getting in trouble by Yahweh or their creator, you know, they, this, this is kind of like a, um, a religious feeling that I used to have, but it's not that it's more so, um, not by me getting in trouble by this higher power or anything like that. It's really because I feel like I would be selling my soul. And, um, if I make so much money right now, just doing whatever does not, um, doing whatever that does not um feed my soul but actually takes more more and more of my soul then um 20 years later i can be right back in this same position and i've been out to get out you know i've been out and tried to move and didn't work and come back here and um i just keep that in mind and i believe that that happened for a reason because 20 years later down the road and i've made all this money and then it like collapses i'm not fixing to come back to my mama house and um if it's still here <laughs> you know what i'm saying in five years and ten years who knows she might you know move or something i doubt it but she might move or get married or something who knows so i can't just depend on her to be here i just i can't for for you know for my own self i won't be able to just um accept the fact that i have fallen so low after have after have been giving given all of this money power and success and then it just drops because you guys see some of the celebrities that just drop like that you know like um mc hammer you know that's an example who just falls like that so um i'm very particular about how i make money i'm very particular about how i treat other people and um how just by how life comes at me because i'm always thinking i don't want to sell my soul and the reason why spirit just urged me to do this this morning i just picked up my camera and i was like okay i'm just going to talk so you know spirit tell me what you're going to say so um or what you want me to say i just had this dream that um i had met this guy i'm going to make the dream short if i can so like I met this guy who was so nice, and I could tell he was non-judgmental. The guy looked, he appeared to be, uh, um, like Indian, um, what you would think, uh, no, not Indian, kind of like what you would think, uh, a, an Arabian person would look like, something like, like, the, uh, I don't want to get people wrong just because, um, I really don't know their ethnicity and who they are. It's weird. But I guess 
what you would think not the Native American Indians. It's like the other Indian people that have like the dots on their forehead because I don't want to confuse them with the Arabian people um, because they look similar to me. It's just like people confuse black people or Hebrew people with African, you know, but they don't know, just like I don't know. But anyways, he kind of he kind of looked like that, and he was darker. And I could just tell. Um, and I was talking to this guy. He was um, he was just very nice, very very nice, non judgmental guy. And then so we were like in Walmart together. And when we left, I had bought some stuff. And I know one stuff, so one thing that I bought, I don't think I really needed. I just bought it for um, my children or something like that. And so I was just in this rush. And when I was leaving out, he was behind me in his car and I kind of rushed out in front of him and not knowing that he would um try to rush out too I guess and or no or I think by me rushing out it blocked him in a way to get out so I think he was kind of like just trying to force his way out too because it was a lot of traffic but when I did that and he came behind me some type of way he came behind me someone just decided to shoot and shot him and when I saw that he was shot I was just like oh my gosh I have to go to the front of the line to tell people that uh, you're gonna have to cuz couldn't nobody go anywhere the traffic was so bad so I went all the way to the front of the line and I was just trying to I had to get people to I had to get people to um, to to want to like move out of their spot so he can get to the hospital and I knew that was going to be hard because just the way the world is set up, I knew nobody was going to care. And I was just like, this man had been shot. So this man was like, he was like, you guys, we have to get, um, we have to get out of this situation because this young lady has just came in contact with this man. And he was just rude to her. He's being evil to her. And, and, um, and he's back there causing all kinds of trouble. And I was like, no. No, no, he's not. That's not how he was. And I saw what he was doing, so I almost didn't say anything because I really wanted the man to get to the hospital. So I saw what he was doing, and I was like, no. And he was trying to, like, make it seem like he was, like, a terror, uh, a terrorist, you know, um, because of what he looked like and stuff. And I was like, no that's not who he was and I had to make the decision right then and there and I just could not let him lie lie on the guy but I was like oh my gosh it's gonna kill the guy he's gonna bleed out and then so but I just stood up and I was like no no and I felt like if I told the truth about the guy then maybe people will understand and I was like no he's not back there hurting anybody he's so nice he's very non-judgmental no that's not who the guy is and like when I tell no one cared when I say he was this nice guy because they didn't have any reason to leave anymore. They didn't have that fear. And I was like, oh, my gosh, did I just kill this guy? But let me tell you, in my dream, something came to me and said that guy would not have wanted it any other way. So that was my dream, though, <laughs> you know, and I felt like I killed them. But I don't know. I woke up then and I was like. I would have sold my soul, and I would have sold his too, his too, you know, and that's basically what all I want to talk about, that's all I want to talk about, and I hope that I got out, you know, the very essence of what I'm trying to say, it's just like, anytime you are compromising who you are, what you believe in, in any type of way, you're giving away your soul, and like, you don't want to do that because once you walk around here without a soul, you have compromised who you are for so very long that you walk around here without a soul. You have no sense of sense of being. You have no sense of who you are. And you'll really just do what everyone else doing because you don't even really know how to get back to that. And I'm, that's why I said I believe some people don't have a soul. Or either it's just lost somewhere because I see it. And I see situations like that all the time. I see people who have compromised so much in their life. I don't even know if they can get back to being, to, um, get back to being the, the very essence of who they are. Um, I don't think they 
even know it anymore. And I'm talking about I'm talking about people who are old enough to know, and people who um people who have I've I've seen them just um sacrifice who they are over and over and over again. I mean, to the point to where they have no soul. And I don't know if you guys know what they look like, <laughs> but I do. And I know what a soulless person looks like. I feel like I know what a child looks like to be born into the world without a soul. Um, I feel like that. And the thing is, I saw on someone else's channel, uh, they talk about people without a soul. And I did not know that to be true um, until then. I just knew. I just always suspected. And when you see that person, that person looks exactly like what you would think. That person looks very empty. And that person has no motivation to do right. That person has no kind of um, conscious in them to even do wrong. You know, like they would do wrong and not even care probably how psychopaths are made <laughs> if you were born without a soul or either if you have done so much that you have allowed your soul to leave you so do you want to walk around like that do you want to walk around basically looking lifeless you know or being lifeless having no sense of who you are anymore just because you could not find the strength to say no to this situation that's coming in and that situation is saying you know like are you really this person are you really uh, are you really um, this greedy or are you really this selfish are you really that mean are you really um, this that this naive you know that's not who you are but when that situation came you 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 failed yourself you know whatever the situation is you failed yourself and you compromised your being you compromised who you are as a person okay that has happened to everyone i bet i know cuz i've done things like that too so um don't grow a habit of doing that you know i'm going to end this and i'm going to say um, so I've explained what the soul is and why you shouldn't sell it, why you shouldn't, um, yeah, why you shouldn't sell your soul and what I feel like selling your soul is. So I guess that's what I'm going to name this video and why you shouldn't sell your soul. <laughs> you don't want to be a lifeless being, you know, so, um, a walking, talking, lifeless being. You don't want to be like a zombie, like my friend always say. You don't want to be the walking dead. And that is all, you guys. Bye. Am I waving? Bye.